this video we're gonna design a logo using Midjourney version number five. If you have seen some of my other videos, you saw probably that we created a logo for AI studios with version number four and that image prompt. And I just want to try to prompt this image prompt again and see what is the difference. And then we're gonna try around some other version so we can make the logo feel and look much better. So as we saw in the logo, there is still text on the logo. So we will try now if mid journey number five, version number five is actually able to remove the text pretty easily. So I will just go ahead, leave the image prompt as it is, make it version number five, and we'll go in front of version number five here and try out to make no text. So as you can see we here, we have not really been successful with the no text. We have not been very successful with the no text, but the, the logos are quite nice. So let's have a look and compare the images. Here we have the old version that was generated with version number four. Here we have the version that was generated with version number five. I really like the logo style. I think this looks pretty good. It's very simple, of course, but also this. And this one, we tried to remove the text, but it didn't really help, right? So we still have to go into Canvas or some other tool to remove the text on this. As you saw here, it was the image prompt, a minimal logo design for AI company with the name AI7 Studio white background, simple vector, no text. Now we will try to structure the image, image prompt differently. So in version number five, they told us we need to create the image prompt a little differently. So we will try to write it out into some sentences and I will be back. So create a clean professional, professional logo for a AI company called AI. Where did the I go? Meh. AI7 Studio, clean looking vector design. Just try that. And it should be version five. Yeah, it's version five because it's in my settings. Again, to remind you to check your settings, you just go in here, type in settings, and I have it here on Mature version five. So this is the outcome for create a clean professional logo for AI company co called AI7 Studio. Clean flat looking vector design on white background, no text. So the no text doesn't really seem to work. I like these elements here, but I don't really like the, the logo styles, right? They are not too professional. I would say I don't really like that styles. So I already made a different one and I tried here to tell Mid Journey that it should just use fonts to create the logo, but I think uh, it looks here, it doesn't understand my image prompt and it's generating some kind of heads or some kind of things. If you look at this, I mean, I like the color combinations of this and also from the font, I think it understood that it should generate maybe some different font styles and matching font styles. So I like the, the font or the, the text of, of this one pretty much. I also like the colors. I don't really like the inside and I think it's hard to tell that this should be related to AI, but this is not so bad, I would say. I will just go ahead and take the original Netflix logo from here, save it, go back here and upload it, just uh, we have it in our Discord and can use it. Now I will just go ahead and say copy media link. Then I go and copy this part here, copy text, just copy the text behind it remove what we don't need. So it's basically now imagine our sample logo from Netflix, then we have to uh, remove that as well. Then it says, create a logo for artificial intelligence company in the logo style of Netflix. And here the, the image weight I will take out. I will use that later on for the image and the text prompt. I will just execute it and see what's happening. So these are very good results already. And it's taken really the style of Netflix and it's tried to put in some artificial intelligence. I find it pretty good, but we have to say that the Netflix logo is just text, right? So for the artificial intelligence, it's very hard to implement that. I will take this one, this nice apple, 
and I will also go over and just for fun take the Disney logo because it's very different. I'll just take which one. I would take the blue one to see what we can create out of that. So in mid journey I will now take the same image prompt that we had already before without the image like that. So I upload it, copy in the old image prompt that we have before, go imagine, just remove all of that stuff again, copy the media link inside. So the image prompt will now be the image link of the Apple logo, create a logo for artificial intelligence company. Let's see what comes out. In the meantime, we can prepare the, the Disney logo. So we'll just go ahead, upload the Disney logo style. And you can do that with every style you want, of course. I will just get here the media link and replace this media link here. So this is the result of the combination of the Apple logo and the artificial intelligence. Again, we would have to modify it, right? We would have to bring down the image weight or we would have to do something with it or make more description. This one is the one with the, let's have a look. I think that's the Disney logo. So always if you click on the link, you will see the source. This is already much better, right? The style of, of the Disney logo, but it is much more artificial intelligence. So you have this one, it's pretty abstract, but I think it's pretty good. So sometimes it depends on the logo, what you're taking. It can be good results or not, right? Imagine, copy that all in. You should, you will see that you should actually use this for your industry. So we would go ahead and create a logo for a sports company, sports company in the style and we have the designer and we have the brand and you will see that the results are much better. So it's important for you as you see to take logos out of your industry because otherwise it will be very confused. So what we can also do is if you have two or three logos and you want to combine them and maybe see what is coming up, you could just go ahead here and blend them together. To blend logos together, you just go ahead and here type in blend, blend images. You just blend these three images together. Like um, what was it? The Netflix, the Apple, image one, image two, optional dimensions, image three. We'll go to image three. We could combine up to five and I could dimensions. What is that? Dimensions, portrait, square, landscape. I try the landscape. So you see the, the blend mode now in version number five actually helps us to blend the images together and put the landscape, which is three to two, and it's a version five generated. Here, create a logo for a sports company in the style of Eddie Desler, the creator of the Adidas logo. Yeah, I mean, maybe this is a little, with a lot of imagine. So this is the combination of the three logos. And I think it's pretty funny. The Apple logo is still very prominent. I find this quite funny here. This is not bad. Also, this looks interesting. This is pretty good, I would say, but this would just be good if you are focused on selling some, maybe some winter gear or Formula One stuff or something like that. I'm not sure what that is. This is not really targeted to sports, I would say. So maybe we have to be even more precise in version number five. So we could just go ahead, I copy in again, I said, create a logo for a new modern sports brand with white background, clear professional logo. And we'll say sports brand, showing, running, person, enjoying, workout. Let's say we have, we sell tennis shoes or something like that. So we could use that, running, running shoes. So if you check it out, it would be the logo, just this, this running shoe. The shoe is, is a pretty good shape. The, your logo would be on the shoe. Also in this case, doesn't really look like a running shoe, but this looks pretty good, I would say. So we could go ahead and continue with this. So in this case, we could go ahead and make some more versions of one. Can modify it here, but I just leave it like that. And we can make some more versions of number two. Then here we have a very nice version. But how did we generate that? This is also a running shoe thing. It's much better now, right? And this one is finished already. So if we look at that, it gives us now actually 
version number five a pretty good overview that we can pick from. I really like that. So we could go ahead here and say, okay, I really like, for example, this blue design or like, like that one, maybe most. So if I like this one pretty much, I will just upscale, for example, number four for now to see what comes up and how the results are and how fast it is. And you see it's already upscaled because this is already built in in the version number five that it will be upscaled already. So we would have to work on the logo or on the text on the shoe, of course. You, at this point, you can't do it in mid-journey. You would have to go to Photoshop or any other program to do that. And you see it's very different to version number four. You now have to create logos in a very different way. You give to, have to give more information. So you have to use a little different prompts. You have to experiment around. And we don't know if it's going to stay like that. It's still like in a beta and we will see how it works out and how much they will implement and modify till it really rolls out. So I hope that was useful and I see you in one of my next videos. Take care, bye bye, see you.